What is up guys, it is day two of rescuing the elephants and we're nearly back in Chiang Mai. We drove through the entire night. If you haven't already seen that vlog, it's linked down below. It was an unbelievable experience. All right, time to go back up. And good morning everyone. It is time to go back to Chiang Mai. So I can't speak Thai, but I can only guess that he's probably trying to buy some hay or some uh, corn here for the elephants. Fly hat on Derek there, looking good. Outfit of the day. I just went pee in that bush, and for some reason I decided not to wear my shoes. I stood in a red ant farm, and they were all just biting at my feet while I'm peeing. I like. I definitely got some on me, but I just got bit a couple more times. One of them went up my shirt. I got it, like, and then it dropped down into my pants and bit me down there. We are about two hours away from getting these guys home, but we're gonna stop for some lunch first. I am so hungry. I saw one of the funniest things I've seen in my entire life on the way here. See those power lines there? There was a repairman repairing the power lines and he didn't have a ladder. He was like tight roping along the power lines, like holding on the one above him and balancing on the one below him. It was just like, what? It's definitely getting a little hotter, so we're hosing her down so she doesn't overheat. Not like that. So is there a chip inside of her? Is that why they're checking? No. Yeah. So that thing right there is to like scan for the chip because the Minister of Agriculture is here. They're double checking to make sure we have the right elephant. And the elephant doesn't seem to like this too much. We're about to go into a massive storm. <laughs> Oh god, here it comes! Look at that! We are almost there. I think there's probably about one hour left and then we'll be at the sanctuary. And I'm looking forward to that. It's been a lot of travel, but uh, it's going really well. How was that little flash flood for you? Got nice and wet? It's a thick rain cloud over there. <laughs> it's like all hell is broken loose. So Elephant Nature Park is just beyond the city here, somewhere in the midst of that rain. We're gonna have to hide the cameras again. <laughs> We're home now. Oh wow. Excuse me. <laughs> and this one is Bumi, the eldest of the two. Here she comes. She's home now. 
Finally reunited after over 20 hours being separated. Ooh. And there's Lek. Oh yeah, just getting a good scratch in. Guys, the past, I don't even know, 36 hours, almost 48 hours, have been insane. One of the craziest experiences of my entire life. Wasn't glamorous, wasn't always fun, but the outcome was just so brilliant. And to be able to see exactly what Elephant Nature Park is doing, what they're doing for these elephants is beyond comprehension. The second they get here, they are living different lives. They are living the lives that I would hope upon all elephants. It's just so cool to have been able to be part of that and see them do the work in the field. For those of you wanting to come to Thailand or to Southeast Asia, you want to have your own elephant experiences, I don't expect you to take a 36 hour truck ride through Thailand. But what you can do to have authentic elephant experiences is come to a sanctuary. There's more than one. This is certainly the best one, without a doubt, in the entire country, arguably the entire world. So if you have that flexibility, come here, look no further. If you want options, ultimately make the decision based on this. Choose a business that allows elephants to be elephants. And what that means is there's no elephant rides, there's no elephant painting, there's no elephant circus. All of those things are extremely out of the nature of an elephant, and for that reason, they're being abused and tortured to do so. So make sure you guys are making the smart choices when you come here, because if you do it right, it can be one of the coolest things of your entire trip. Look at her, she's exploring her new home. In a perfect world, the elephants would just get off the truck and go explore their new home. But unfortunately, elephants are a lot more complicated than that, especially when there's 69 other ones living here at the Elephant Nature Park. A lot of different ranging personalities, and for that reason, it's going to be about a week-long process to integrate them here. And they're going to have to keep a chain on them just for their own safety during that integration process. Once that's over, they will be just as free as the rest of the elephants. How does freedom feel? Hello! Welcome to your new home. Welcome to your new home. And that's your mahout. He looks very friendly. He's got melons for you. Ooh, yum. Melons. Nom 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 nom. She likes the bananas. I've gained her trust. It's like a snake. <laughs> There's none left. I, I swear you have them all. She probably was not nearly on as delicious of a diet. You guys, they are about to go swimming for the very first time at their new home. <laughs> it's making a break for it. <laughs> It's not supposed to cross onto the other side, and so he's swimming after it. <laughs> That's what it's like being a mahout, guys. You're taking care of a giant child. Pretty typical behavior. Yeah, yeah, that's a, the new time for freedom. You can't you can expect that. You know, they, they, they might have to taste a bit mahout. Why I listen to you? No hook today. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't listen then. Uh, I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to so this is their first time experiencing yeah. freedom. Normally they're used to pain being their way of directing them, and so now that there's no pain involved, they're like, why do I listen to you? So yeah. they'll be a little bit stubborn at first. <laughs> That's how you play the game. That's how you play it. You follow the food. <laughs> She's just loving it. Well, they just took the chain off Bu and me because obviously they feel confident enough that she's not going to run. Uh, they have to keep the chain on Boo Me a bit longer. Uh oh, she's coming right at me. <laughs> We're trapped. <laughs> Run away. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, you just... There goes a shoe. It's in there somewhere. 
Well, I don't know if I'm getting that one back. Okay. Oh, you have boots. I have boots. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Thank you for finding my sandal. It's nice and clean. One more time for the vlog. Thank you, Derek. It's been an amazing pleasure. Thank you for your time with us here. It was really good uh, getting to know you on the truck. And yeah, definitely. Time. A See you guys. Bye, trucks. Great. Thank you so much, Lek. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Well, that's a wrap. We have just filmed the last scene of Black Tusk. Guys, be on the watch for Black Tusk. It may take a few weeks, it may take a couple months. It's going to be posted when it's ready. Uh, between Blake and I, we've got busy schedules. It's not going to be released until we think it's perfect. And I can tell you right now, it's a pretty damn good story. I can't believe the things that have transpired over the past five days. We have just been blessed, to say the least, to have had these experiences, to have met these people. And a major thank you to Lek and to Derek. You guys have made this possible. It just went from a great documentary to a sensational one because they have given us everything we needed and more. Be on the watch for when it's ready. So Lek and Derek are actually married, if you guys didn't know that connection. They're just like the perfect elephant saving couple in the world. I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a lot of fun and we've learned a lot, seen a lot, done a lot. Now it's time to do less and go to bed. So, have a good night guys, and let's get lost again tomorrow. I do.